complaints for the, the tenants uh, mm -hmm. many days ago for low music and uh, many complaints. An apartment manager trying to protect his residence is viciously attacked and beaten. Then one of his attackers allegedly runs over him with a car. Good evening, everyone. That attack took place early Saturday morning in the back of an apartment building on Reading Road near Bond Hill. The victim, Roberto Rosiles, tells us he's familiar with at least two of the people who attacked him because they've been to the building before. Local 12's Rich Jaffe joins us now from the parking lot where the attack happened with a look at how you can help catch the people responsible. Rich. Rob, this is the back of the apartment building at 4815 Reading Road. This is the parking lot area. Here's the building. If something happens out here in the back parking lot, the problem is the building actually blocks the view from the very busy Reading Road out in front. And the residents here tell me that they are increasingly concerned over the last few months about what has been going on back here. They also say by far the worst thing so far is what happened to the apartment manager this weekend. Apartment manager Roberto Rosiles says according to doctors, he's got two crushed discs in his back along with multiple painful scrapes and bruises. Early Saturday morning, Rosiles approached two men connected with a suspicious black Nissan he'd seen in the parking lot a number of times before. He got into a fight with the men and tried to get them in view of building cameras. I tried to go, I tried to go close because I know I had cam cameras there. Mm -hmm. I tried, this guy followed me to the cameras. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I tried very close there, one guy punched me and cut my phone uh, iron in the ground. Roberto's girlfriend, Clara, was with him. Concerned for her safety, we agreed not to show her face on TV, and we used a translator. Okay, she says that um, when she saw the, the guys were hitting Roberto, uh, she just started screaming for someone to come out of the apartment to help. Moments later, the frightening situation got even worse when a third person, a woman who had been with the two men, jumped into the black Nissan and put it in gear. I am on the floor and she crossed with the car in my back. You're lying on the ground and she drives the car over you? Over me. Clara says she didn't know whether to run for help or continue screaming and try to attract attention. Then the woman driver tried to finish Roberto off. And she said when the woman ran him over once, uh, she tried to go back and uh, ran him over again, but somehow Roberto got up. Like, he was knocked out, but somehow he got up. Now, Roberto has been the apartment manager here for about the last two years. Before that, he was the maintenance guy here. And I have to tell you as well, I've talked to at least four of the older, long-term residents here. Some have been here for many, many years, and they all tell me what a great job Roberto's been doing, but they also tell me that, frankly, they're so afraid of what's been going on here that they weren't willing to talk with me on camera. Very, very troubling situation out here in Bond Hill. Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Rob? Rich, were you able to talk to the apartment uh, building owner about this? As a, as a matter of fact, I just got off the phone with him, and he tells me now, get this, that just today he served an eviction notice on a woman who lives in this building, and everybody I've talked to believes that her son is one of the guys who attacked Roberto. She got hit with the eviction papers just today, and the building owner tells me that the guy who attacked Roberto, the primary guy, has called him on the phone and has even confessed to that attack. But at this point, they're still out on the streets. What Go about figure. the police? Are the police involved? Police are involved. The offense report has been generated. There is an investigation involved. But that's one of the things the built property owner tells me he's very frustrated about is the fact that at this point, he doesn't get the feeling that the police are doing very much about this. Rich, thanks very much. Part of the attack was indeed caught on the building surveillance cameras, and Roberto managed to get a picture of the license plate on one of the cars. If you know anything about the attack or the people responsible, please call Crime Stoppers. 352-3040 is the number. You can remain anonymous.